everybody. Today we are going to be making homemade peanut butter cups. You will need some chocolate. You will need three bowls, one big, one medium, and I'm just using a large cup because I don't have a small one. You need nine or more if you have a lot of the peanut butter that you need and chocolate. You need two spoons, one for the peanut butter and one for mixing the chocolate. And you need peanut butter. You need natural peanut butter, creamy. And I'm going to show you what it looks like. So let's get started. First, you need to get your chocolate and Get it open. And put it into your big bowl. Chocolate chips, chocolate chips. Don't be my chocolate chips. Now you are going to melt it for 30 seconds in the microwave. And I'll be right back after that. All right, I have one more thing. You need a pan or just a round pizza pan. It doesn't matter if it has holes in it, but if you don't like to have holes in it, you can put a piece of wax paper over it or you can just get a regular one. Get a little bit on its spoon and put it in. And you just swirl it around the cup that you have to the side. If you want a big cup, peanut butter cup, then just let it drip all the way in the middle. And go try a big peanut butter cup. And then I'm gonna try to make a small one. Do, 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 do. Let's wait. And then just twist it. If you want, you can get the chocolate off your spoon and then push it to the side so it's easier and faster. So if you're using um, melting wafers, then you might want to do this. Because melting wafers dry fast. Alright, I'll be right back after I'll get done. So I won't waste your time. Alright, now I'm going to go put these in the freezer. And when I come back, it's time to make the peanut butter filling. Alright, now it's time to make the filling. First, you take the cap off of it. So you dump it into your smallest bowl. And then it will look like this. Really thick consistency. Now you add half, almost half of it into your medium sized bowl. Now you just take spoonfuls at a time and put it in. So let's try one and see what it looks like. Hi, Hi. What's it making? Peanut butter cups. Oh, my favorite thing to do. And it should have the consistency of Play Doh. So that's what my aunt said. She made them before. And it's not that sweet right now. Because I just tried a little bit. And it doesn't look like Play Doh consistency, so I'm gonna add like one and a half. Ah! 
Let's stir it. That should look like the consistency of the Lego one. So just keep on mixing, 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 mixing. Get sweet enough, so we use just this regular white sugar we have, and it should look like this. And when you press down on it, it doesn't stick to your hands. Well, let's try it. It's really not nice and sweet. When you add as much sugar as you want, it will get thickened up like this, and it'll have the consistency of Play-Doh. Now I got all my shells out and they're frozen. And I chilled them for like a few minutes. Now you like, take your peanut butter and put it inside. And you just put as much peanut butter as you need. And then you just smush it in so it looks like this. And you just keep smushing it in until it's all the way flat. And go like this. And be a little careful. You don't break your chocolate shell. Now you do this for every one of them. I'm just going to put clumps of the peanut butter just in it. And just keep putting peanut butter in it. And I'll be right back after they're all smoothened out. And this is good. Alright. Now. Take more of your chocolate, and then you dump it on the top, and smoothen that out. And if you have any extra chocolate that's on the side, like I didn't have enough peanut butter, then you can cut that off when they're done being freezed. And then tap it a few times. Probably you can do this on the table, so they're smoothened out. Now you just keep on doing it to get all of them covered. And if you just leave them sitting there, they will smoothen out at the top. Alright, now I got them all done. Now, you can lightly go like this. Smooth them out. I like doing it on a flat surface because it helps it better. Now I'll put them in the freezer until they're firm and I'll be right back. Alright, now they're all frozen. Now you take them out. So this is why you use silicone liners. It flips inside out and it looks like that. When it's done, you just keep taking every one of them out of the silicone liners. It will be really easy because it doesn't stay that hard in and there's going to be another step so you can make them look really nice and neat. They look like Alright, now it's time for the taste test. Now I'm calling my taste tester over. <laughs> she has started to eat one. Very good. That looks like on the inside. And these would be great for like any occasion. If you want to do them really cool, you should use white chocolate and dye it. Like for Christmas, do red and white dyed chocolate and then just follow the instructions, but use like milk chocolate or dark chocolate. That would be really cool too. If you make these, please tell me 
below in the comment section. So, comment, rate, subscribe. Bye, YouTube. If you have gum teeth in the front, it will hurt when you eat them. Bye. <laughs>